I'll keep the thousand of worthless lines of religious writ if it keeps me from falling down the banks of life's consuming pit. For we have nothing much to fear. The hero's path is laid out clear. We have found ourselves in the battle of life on the field of truth while waging wars alongside our Juna's troop. And when we look down both battle lines the faces of friends on both sides come to mind. We have found ourselves at Mott's gaping jaws, being swallowed by death's gripping claws, and know not the way ahead in times of pain and dread. Do we not follow Bale's descent of fear and woe, when swallowed down a throat and body's whole? Or do we not go where Odysseus sailed? and at times become distracted by the siren wails? Do we not get tossed off course like Aeneas and feel remorse that we somehow could not stay in the quiet of the bay? Do not we, while standing in our path, at times feel fear, knowing that Dante may have traveled here and conquered life's woes both small and great with, with David's sling? with only a pebble, light and weight. So I'll keep those words and pages both foul and fair. We do not have to fear the journey, for heroes have already traveled there. And when we ascend and see the stars, we know the hero's journey has become ours.